Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. England captain Ben Stokes welcomes criticism, but Bosball stays DFA. England suffered a narrow loss in that game, as Australia won by just two wickets at Edgbaston on the final day. England declared their first inning 393-8 late on day one, despite Joe Root batting 118. Dot on the asked about the criticism he had received about the declaration, the England captain said they will not change their approach, as this is the way London England captain Ben Stokes responded to the criticism he received from the former cricketers, for the explanation of the first innings. The opening game of the Ashes. England suffered a narrow defeat in that game, as Australia won by just two wickets at Edgbaston on the final day. Asked about the criticism he had received of the explanation, the England captain said they wouldn't change their minds. I've been saying it for a long time, we've found a type of cricket that brings out the best in us as a team. We want to always be on the right side of the results, and that applies to every team, regardless of their style of play. We've had great success with our mentality and the way we approach the game, so things are not going to change, he added. Stokes supported Ollie Robinson's aggressiveness and said he was one of the best bowlers in the world. I think Ollie Robinson is the best bowler in the world. He has a 21 average with the ball. That us all I really have to say on the whole thing I think, he added. Ollie Robinson doesn't he let things like that affect him. Every time he stepped onto the field for England he was a first class player, and his performances prove that. There is no way I am going to exchange a word with him, and tell him to hold off because you can t take anything once. Away from a player who gets the best out of him. He loves competition and loves professional sports. Emotions run high. It us an Ashes series. There was a moment when we really needed a desperate breakthrough. And he was the man who made it happen. Australia and England play their second Ashes series test.